Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Blessing for my returning subscribers. Thank you for always being with me. For my new subscribers, you're welcome. In my channel, on my channel, I talk about anything and everything I find interesting. For those that don't know, I am a master student in the Russian Federation. And uh, today I'll be sharing for those interested in coming to Russia or students, I'll be sharing the available scholarships to study in Russia, right? So today's video looks quite different because I'm recording it through my laptop. So I'm doing that because I want to share a screen to you as I am talking. So this is the screen I wanted to share with you. And uh, this screen all over here, we're talking about available scholarships to study in Russia for those interested, right? So that if you can do it, it's going to save you a whole lot of money. Then all you have to be worried about is um, money for your dormitory, which is highly subsidized in Russia, and money for feeding yourself, transportation, which is also highly subsidized in Moscow, right? I don't know about other cities, but in Moscow. And most of this, um, the things I'll be sharing to you today is for those that are interested in coming to Moscow, right? Or Russia in general. Now let's start with the one that is meant for people that are in Russia in general. It is called the Open Doors. So all you have to do is go to Google, type in Open Doors Scholarship. Unfortunately, I can't uh, put links on my YouTube yet, which is why you have to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, like this video and share it. It will help me to uh, get more rights to post links again, because YouTube uh, removed that right from me, because according to them, my, um, my channel hasn't grown to earn a link. So if you can subscribe, especially if you keep watching my video and uh, I checked and almost 80, 80 something percent and 90 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to me and I don't think it's fair because you watch it then you don't subscribe and then it doesn't get recommended to other people that might find it useful so please do subscribe all right so what is the open door scholarship now most scholarship in Russian Federation is given by the Russian government right only very few universities actually give, uh, have their own scholarship. So the scholarships in Russia are by the Russian government. So it's either your, you, your home country has an affiliation or a bilateral agreement with the Russian Federation, and then you get a, a scholarship through them, or you can go through these open doors, the Russian Scholarship Project, Associations Global Universities. Now this open door uh, scholarship is for all cities in Russian Federation, right? Not just Moscow. You can apply to any city, you can apply to any university through this scholarship. Now this scholarship is meant for master students and PhD students. Sorry, undergrad students, um, nothing for you here. So it's majorly for master's students and PhD students. So once you go to their websites now, uh, you see there is option for La Russian and English language, right? I already put for English. If you click on Russian, you see it's going to be uh, on Russian language, but I don't even know why I clicked that, but what we need is the English language, right? So I'm showing you this for those of you that feel that, oh, you're coming to Russia, you see, it's now it's in Russian language. If you click back on English, it will go back to English. For those of you that feel like I'm coming to Russia, I don't understand the language. I need an agent to help me fill my forms. Most of these sites, if not all of these sites, have option for English and Russian. And even if the site itself does not have an option for that, Chrome itself normally have an option up here if this one didn't have. But thankfully, this one has. So you go to their uh, website and you see all the tracks, right? These are all the tracks you can apply in business and management, biology and biotechnology, politics, international, 
studies, medicine, all these things, right? So let's say, for example, I'm into academics, education. So I click into education and um, psychology. This is how you start, you know, getting yourself familiarized with what this scholarship is all about. Or you can go straight to the about page and read all that. But I'm just going to show you some few things. So when you, you click on it, you read about it, all the helpful informations that you need to know, you know, and um, about other subject areas as well. So this is 2023, because I think it opens every September, if I'm not mistaken. So you just need to be checking their website to know when they open. But this is um, 2023, right? This is 2023 open doors. For this year, I think it will open in September, if I'm not mistaken. So here you, you'll find the list of the universities that are under this open doors scholarship. And I I bet it's almost all accredited, state accredited um university. It's loading. It's almost all state accredited uh, university. High School of Economics, you see, for example, this is my university, by the way. National Research, Tamask University, ITMO, I don't know the full meaning, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology Research. You know, all the universities here, 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 are there. Now, this is the schedule. As I said, this is for 2023 because 2024 have not started. In the schedule here, you have the registration time, which is September 15. They will tell you the timeline of which to expect um, every of every stage, portfolio filling, deadline for portfolio submission, the first stage grading of the portfolio announcement, to the second stage, you know, uh, appeal process. So you see all of these have a timeline which they follow almost strictly, right? So now that the, the platform is not open yet, for the new academic session, you can come to this website and have a look. At it, there is facts, frequently asked questions here where you can read what the subjects mean, what do I do if I win? So you look at all these things and you get all the answers that, to questions that you might have. Now, when you're done looking at all these things, right, and for adventure, you didn't find an answer to your question, you can just go to contact us. Now, this is what I said about every website. Almost all websites always have a contact us page. And usually it might be an email or phone number you could write, mostly email. Like for example, their own contact page is like this. You write your email, your phone name, choose the category of the question you want to ask. Um, and then write it out and send and then they will contact you, right? You can also join their social media platforms to check on updates. Like right now you could join their Telegram or their VK. VK is the Russian version of Facebook, if I must say it like that. So you can join this, their social media platform. What does that help you do? It helps you in such a way that they will be putting updates. For example, now when it's time to open for your 2024 session. They're going to put updates there and then you go there and then you come to the website and um, apply. The About Me page, you can read all that by yourself. I don't want to spend so much time here, right? So that apart, now let me go to the second one, which is the one I am most, most familiar with because when I came as an undergraduate student, I didn't uh, apply anything myself. I just applied through the bilateral um, bilateral education agreement of between my country, Nigeria and Russia, which is the FSB scholarship. So they did everything. All I had to do is apply through them, go through the exams, interviews. When I passed, they were the ones that did the other paperwork and everything, you know. But for my master's, I applied myself and 
I got to this university I loved in Moscow, the High School of Economics, and I did all the application process myself. Now, the High School of Economics gives gives you um scholarship for both undergraduate and masters. This is one thing about it that is awesome, right? And it is their own university scholarship. Now, you can come through this to this higher school of economics through the open doors, right? It's one of the university universities, as you saw. Sorry, I'm talking fast. I just don't want the video to be so long. But yes, it is one of the universities in the open doors website. But apart from it being one of the universities that the Russian government also sponsors students to study in, HSC also has its own scholarship scheme, right? So now all you have to do is type in HSE on Google, on Chrome, excuse me. Type in the university name on Google or Chrome anywhere. Then you will come to this side, right? Now you will see programs and courses. You have English taught degree programs, right? You have bachelor's, you have master's, master's degree. One moment. And as I said again, you see this website is on, they have English, Russian, and even Chinese. So you can choose anyone you want. So you don't even need Google Chrome Translator for this one. The site itself has three languages. So it's already on the English language. So you go here, you can read all about the university, all those things, you know, read about them, anything you want to know from here, there is contacts to contact because this university, it's also in St. Petersburg, right? Also in Nizhny Novgorod, in, um, yeah, St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg and Nizhny Novgorod. So there is also contact, the international student support. So all throughout the way, there is always someone to contact, especially this my university. They are very good with contacting you. They are very good in answering questions. They are always ready. And there is so many ways to contact them. This is one of them, right? Now, that is not really what I want to show you. Now, when you come here, um, You can read every other thing yourself about international support, research, all those things. But when it comes to the programs and courses, programs and courses, right? You choose whichever one you want to do. Let's say, for example, master's. Also, beforehand, too, you can also read about all the programs they have here by yourself. So just explore the website, know the website in and out. So when you click on master's degree, you see all these things and roles, 38 thoughts, master's programs. When you go there, and nine English thought bachelor's programs, right? So, okay, let's just click on this one just to quickly have a look. It opens on another tab. So, when you click on it, um, yeah, now I think the registrations for this year are done. I think now they are just doing the document, um, what they call it, verification or something like that. I don't think they are still accepting applications because I think the applications open very, very early. For example, um, November or so, it opens very early and it it closes quite late. You know, it closes quite late. Mm -hmm. But for for excuse me, sorry. For uh, what do they call it? I got a message and I got distracted. Yeah. Yeah, for accurate information, they have a Telegram group. There they always update on these things. We'll check if we can find the Telegram group here. If I can easily find it, I'll just uh, write the Telegram group name or something like that on the 
description box or the comment section somewhere there, but we'll look for it later on first. So um, I think we opened here to check for the programs. Uh, let's see the programs. So here you have Masters and Principles, Mission of God and Perm, yes. Now, this one is already in Moscow. If you want to check the programs that are available in St. Petersburg, you click, but this one is Moscow. So you see all the programs that are available for master students that are taught in the English language, because there are other programs too. I think they, are, they even have more programs that are taught in Russian as well, which is of course to be expected. So you see all these things, design, modern technology for teaching, design, business and management, journalism and media, law, education and training, which is what I'm doing, um, pedagogy. My program is Russian taught because I can speak the Russian language. So it's pedagogy, that's my program. Then you have STEM programs, a lot of it. Then you have uh, social sciences. Um, Oh, I want to take something when I, I just saw something interesting, but I'll check it when I'm done. Humanities, arts, design, and urban studies. So there's a lot of things for you to choose from. There is media and journalism, right? So you can click here to immediately um, apply, to immediately apply now, right? When you click on apply, the thing is that no matter where you are, when you are researching about this university, there will always be an apply button close by. When you click on apply to apply, then you are going to um have your own profile. You know, you're going to have your own profile on the website. That is where you're going to put all your information. Now to get in, you're going to go to um get login and password. You click on it, and I think you send them your email through there. Um, okay, let me click and see what, um, yeah, you put your name, you fill out this form and submit application. Then they will send you on the email you put here, they will send you your login and your password. And then from there, you're going to login and then you see all the stages, right? I can't remember my own password and login and I really don't even think I want to log in. But if I log in there, you're going to see my own profile there your picture will be there you'll fill in your name um there is stages there is the motivation stage that's where you put your motivation later and it depends by programs right it depends by programs some might request some sort of uh creative video some might not request some might request some sort of essay some might not request but then you see all the stages and then you follow it it's quite easy like that and of course every time you have any question that you don't understand there is always send a message to the moderator when you click on this you send a message to them and they respond to you right so that is it for my program is the same thing too for okay let's have a look on undergraduate and see what they're offering the courses they're offering in the english language Here we have Art and Studies, STEM, uh, Business, Humanities, Journalism, and Media, you know. And you have to check properly, right, in the bracket if they wrote Russian taught or English taught, right? They always write on what language they teach it. Although in some Russian taught courses, you might have one or two English course there, but that does not mean it's English taught them. That means that 90 something percent of the program is Russian taught, and then only a few is taught in the English language. So that is it for this, um, for my university. You can read the rest of the information yourself. And as usual, if you find this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share and subscribe now the next scholarship scheme is this cold tech <laughs> this cold tech scholarship now this one is oh god the top right 
because it is uh I would say university for um the gifted, but we all know it's not everybody there that is like gifted or so. But if you are able to find your way there, then you are the gifted, right? And it's mostly for startups, right? Because let's check their programs. But first, when you go there and you click on admission, right? You will see all the conditions, the upper master's and PhD programs, right? Sorry, undergraduates again. Here, there is no undergraduate program, purely master's and PhD programs. And these are the reasons to apply. Now, what is Cotec different from the other universities, right? They offer quite handsome stipends for Russian, for a university in Russia, 40,000 rubles per month at the MSc programs, right? For my university, for example, they offer 1,900 and something rubles per month. That's, that money you just, maybe it, it might pay for your hostel if you're, depend on the hostel you are in, because the hostel I'm in now is like 2,300 and something, right? So it, it can't even pay for my hostel, right? But it can pay for your internet and your student transport card. It can pay for both things. But now, Scotec is offering 40,000 40, per month. Free medical insurance. In my university, you have to buy medical insurance. Variety of academic mobility programs. My university also offers variety of academic mobility programs. But then, yeah, let's see what they offer. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So you know the kind of things they offer. I don't think they offer humanities here or anything. I think it's pure science and STEM and technology. But let me see. Let's see the MSc programs that they offer. You see, you have the data science, uh, advanced computational science, applied computational mechanics, petroleum engineering, photonics, and quantum. Hmm, even the name said engineering systems, advanced manufacturing technologies, energy systems, material science, internet of things, and wireless technologies. So these are all the programs they offer the master's um, level and all programs are English taught if I'm not mistaken I'll confirm that information but I think all programs are English taught right so this is another option for you if you and all you have to do is to come to their website excuse me and as well you can also join their social platforms because there you especially telegram right You'll be having like updates on the, on the application process when it's starting and stuff. And as usual, I just like to confirm things. Here you can see Russian, you can see Chinese. The, when I opened the website, it was already in the English language. So you see, you can always, there is always an English option for you if you don't speak Russian language. Now, uh, yeah, these are all about student life. They have all the information here. Uh, life in Moscow, all the things, all the faculties they have, research, grants. And here too, I know a lot of students that have studied in Skotec and they got um, support for their startups. In fact, they are happy if you are able to realize a startup because that's the whole point of the university to, you know, support young entrepreneurs in science, technology, all this STEM thing, you know, to create something, create and provide jobs for people. Anyways, let me stop with the shenanigans. Um, yeah, there's also frequently asked questions. You can ask questions here and stuff. I'm trying to find the uh, apply button to see how they apply. I'm trying to see admissions, contact apply for okay apply for what okay let's let's click on a program maybe when you click on a program let's see how their application works oh yeah yeah so when you look at a program you read about about the program and everything and of course as usual um oh this one is even up to 
it seems even the stipends can even be higher depending on the course. This one is up to 55,000 rubble per month. Mm, relocation and accommodation, private medical insurance in accordance with school tech policies. This is machine learning and artificial intelligence, right? So when you open the program, you read about it. If it's something that you like, you love, and you want to do, then you apply. Right? And if you have questions before you choose a program, you write them in the contact me. And I'm sure they might even have like uh, some sort of uh, counsel or something that can counsel you on career career counselors or career guide guidance. Anyways, so... Um, so the application is closed. To apply for 2025, start check back in autumn or subscribe below to receive a notification. You subscribe, receive a notification when they are open for application. <sighs> okay, so far so good. If you're still enjoying this video, don't forget to write in the comment section that you enjoyed it and you would want more like this. More videos like this, share this video, subscribe to this channel and help it to grow, right? And uh, all will be well. Now we have the Lomonosov Moscow State University. Okay, this university, actually, I, I just added it as last, just in case if someone has the strength or want to check it out or stuff. It says Moscow is one of the oldest universities in Moscow, Russia, like the Ogapatapata of them, or, you know, not Ogapatapata, but like one of the oldest anyways. So, um, yeah, the university, as you see, the website also have option for English, Russian, and Chinese. So you can choose the language you want the website to give you. This is another confirmation. Don't worry about agents, do it yourself. So this is their homepage. Um, yeah, let's go to admission and studies and see. All MSU faculties provide full-time studies for BS, MS and specialist programs. Um, now, I don't know if they have their own scholarship. I think they do because there is a reason I opened this tab. Uh, let's see, tuition fee and living expenses. Let's see. Oh, 6,000 for the language course and by the way my university if you get if you get admitted on scholarship the language studies is also free in fact even an open doors scholarship the language studies is also free i don't know about school tech because i don't think they really require it i'm not sure but yeah oh yeah they listed everything you need to pay here why did i open this tab there is a reason there is Wait. Um, you know, sometimes you open things. Yeah, anyways, I think, I think probably is one of the, I just opened it to show you, is one of the top universities in Moscow. And I think that, yes, yeah, I think they're included in the open doors. Let's check. So if you want to apply to them, you have to apply through open doors but I'm not sure that they have their own scholarship, scholarship programs. Yeah, but it's also a nice university on its own right. Let's check again. Um, but we are almost coming to the end of this video because I'm even afraid to have a look at how many minutes we've spent here but yeah let's see if it's among this serious message mixed reading
and find your heart. Anyways, I hope that you've seen that it is that easy to search for scholarships here and apply to them yourself if you want to go through the scholarship route. And apart from that, in this Open Door University too, it can be an avenue for you to see universities, right? Top universities in Russia. It can streamline for you if you want to come uh, pay for yourself, right? Instead of just random searching on Google, instead of random searching on Google, um, you can simply you can simply come to this open doors and look at the universities there and then start from there first to check if you can afford any of them. And yeah. So and another thing you have to be aware of is that in Russia, you know some countries when you go and um Moscow State Institute of International Relations. No, not it. So basically, yeah, the Illumina service is not among them. But yeah, let me stop share. So as I was saying, you can come there and search for it. So look at the universities that are already listed in the open doors, and then from there choose uh streamline your search from there okay so i think that's it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share and write any questions you have in the comment section or any video you would like me to talk on any topic you would like me to make a video on or discuss or anything and i will try my best to make it happen all right till next time see you bye